I saw FIDE was... Or was it FIDE? No, no, it wasn't FIDE. It was Chess Base India that was showing your session of chess boxing in uh, Weisenhaus. <laughs> okay, this wasn't the session. I mean, they asked me to like take some photos and then they wanted to take like a short video of me hitting the pads. It was like a 30 seconds total of... Um, I was in jeans. I didn't actually know like what I was because <laughs> it was. You um, had the hoodie on. You had the chess C squared uh, yes, hoodie on. Oh. I was in jeans and the like sneakers that weren't really good for sports. So it, I wasn't boxing. I wasn't doing sports. It was just supposed to be like um, a photo photo session, basically. Yeah. Yeah. There were there were a bunch of chess boxers there. Um, let me let me get their names. There was like one guy who was a professional chess boxer. I think his name was uh, Refik mm -hmm. Latifi. Mm -hmm. uh, like the thing I realized about chess boxers is that they're they're boxers. Yes, yes. They're they're not really there aren't really professional chess players who chess box. It's all mm -hmm. guys who are boxers and then they learn a bit of chess. Hundred percent. Yeah. For like I, I don't know if there's maybe some other case besides that but that seems to be the case for pretty much everyone i've seen i'm actually kind of curious whether a strong chess player i know there's this guy uh, from england uh brugnell i think his name is and he was doing really well 22 2300 and he was also a very good boxer uh, he had some success uh, many years ago i think 10 10 or so years ago is the last time i saw him um but um most recently i've watched and we were chatting about it. Um, we watched that uh, chess boxing event where Lawrence was doing commentary in uh, Berlin. And the guys were, okay, 13, 1400, 1500 maybe at best, uh, but very good boxers. Probably not so high. Really? At least one like, of them. I, I, I think the guy that move. won was around 1400. I'm going to give him 1400. Okay, sure. That was the main fight, right? The, yes. the main fight, they, they have some chess competency. Yes. Yes, the main event. Um, but they were really no, good I, I boxers. Think, yeah, if, if you get a guy who is uh, like an expert level player, chess player, and can hold their own at boxing, then that's basically just like uh, going to crush everyone because the, it's it's going to be hard to, to knock them out if they have some competency, if they're decent at boxing, if they're not going to get absolutely destroyed in the ring. And then in chess, they would just like, there's no, they would win a hundred percent of games against, um, against pretty much all these chess boxers, just yeah. like a hundred um, yeah, as you said, most of these players are 14, 15 hundreds or, or even less than that sometimes. And, uh, an expert player, a master player would absolutely wipe the floor with them. Right. <laughs> so, so that's it, like, if they actually got serious money into chess boxing, then you might actually see some chess players who, who train a bit <laughs> boxing, uh, similar to like what Andrea Botas did, right? Trained uh, trained boxing, I think, pretty seriously, she and did. got decent. Yeah. And the thing was, she was like fighting uh, Dina, and we saw that she she couldn't knock out Dina, and then over the board, or maybe it was like a technical knock. I think they had some weird like uh, mixed decision at the end, right? They changed the decision, mm -hmm. but uh, but at the start, like Dina won because. Uh, she she wasn't being knocked out, and she just won on the chessboard. So if you have that, then like if you have a grandmaster who has any boxing experience, then we'll just win everything, right? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Well, th that's the thing. Yeah, as long as they don't get knocked out, they will probably beat you on. I mean, they will surely beat you on the board. Uh, it's just about being able to to not get knocked out, which is not that easy. It's easier said than done, but when you're fighting an actual boxer that can hit, um, you feel the strength. You definitely feel the strength and, yeah. and you can easily get knocked out. Um, but yeah, very interesting. You if you, then you're probably going to manage that. If you would be, uh, let's say the UFC, if you would be Dana White of chess boxing, who uh, build a card for for me right now be, build like a five fight card because i you know chess boxing is is definitely right now in 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 the news uh, gotham chess is doing a chess boxing event in like a day or two uh, i'm not really sure what that will be about or against who i don't know if you have more information than me Wait, um, so you want me to build a build like a fight but let's let's build like a fight card uh, a five uh, fight fight card with chess people 
with chess players. Like, I don't know. I don't know anyone's boxing levels. Pretty Doesn't much. matter. Let's let's assume their boxing levels. Because to be honest, I think most of the chess players are completely noobs in boxing. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I think that's noobs. like from what I heard. Noderbeck has. He said that he trained for a while, for a few months. Okay, a few uh, months doesn't give you anything. He's athletic. He's 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 yeah. definitely athletic. So the, that the chess that boxer said that he had some some knowledge. Yeah, it's probably better than any other top grandmaster. Uh, again, if but we can go for like the super heavyweight guys, right? And uh, <laughs> there's some really big guys as well. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the weight classes are either. We're gonna keep uh, similar weight classes. So let's say yeah, no, Nodirbek. I, I would put him in the same weight class as Magnus. I actually that... know his weight. I actually know his weight. You know his weight. Okay, what is it? Like one one eighty. We were at the table. He was there. I was there with the chess boxes. We were all in like a small corner, and uh, and he said his weight. It was uh, I think seventy one kilos. Okay, that's so. Not... Which that's... which is less than Magnus for sure. Yes. I, I mean, I don't know Magnus weights, but it's less than Magnus. Um, so 71 kilos, what can we put him? 71 I don't know. kilos I don't know. is very little, actually. He's like, what, 160? What okay. Like? He's a thin guy, right? He's a, he's a young guy. He hasn't... Uh, I, I wouldn't call him thin. I, I, uh, I've i seen him... I, I've seen the build. I mean, he definitely has a build. Um, he's been working out. I, I, would, I would say he's pretty muscular, but he's young, so he probably hasn't, you know, reached, let's say, the peak of his... His physicality. I don't know what anyone else weighs, so uh, so what can we? Uh, I can only guess, right? And I don't know their boxing skills, which would be. I would assume that pretty much everyone has zero boxing skills. Yes, yes. So yes. then we could uh, we could put Noderbeck and Wesley together. Yes. Okay. But Wesley is probably heavier than Noderbeck. But Wesley could drop some weight. He could uh, he could definitely try to cut some weight going to the sauna for a couple of weeks or uh, another back bulk up and then we could have a matchup. Okay, so that would be the prelims. No, that would be the opening of the main card. Um, Gotham Chess, who would you see him fight? Uh, okay, so do we have to pick someone near his chess level or I, I, I know that he trains boxing. I've seen uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I've seen him like post clips. I don't know if he like seriously trains or just posts clips about it. Doesn't have to like, be I the same level. Post... Uh... But it does have to be, let's say, a competitive fight. Okay, let's say boxing. someone, someone twenty six hundred and under. Yeah. Sure. Yes. That the chess remains relatively like there. There's uh, intrigue there. Yeah. Sure. So, but as long as the boxing is not balance then you know you can put a 2650 that would get smashed in boxing or but let's let's give him a, let's give another streamer so um so let's do levy and eric rosen okay levy and eric rosen actually they're probably the same weight so sure that's gonna be our um next fight of the night i, hope, then, uh, I don't know if eric's ever fought but, uh, maybe <laughs> okay um let's do two more the co-main event and the main event who do we have in the co-main well, event be, of the uh, there has to be a women's boxing chess boxing bout right okay in the co-main event a woman's chess boxing yeah we have so to put we andrea top, right top, so we're not doing top players because andrea's top already players. Done, not very i mean andrea's done one yeah yes we can do top players we understand her level more or less. We understand her chess level. Uh, I guess she's like eighteen hundred chess level, and chess boxing has some boxing has some proficiency. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so we we should do something. Uh, something like I actually I have no idea about uh, who would be interested. I th cost him. Well, okay, yes, probably okay. nobody would be interested. I mean, <laughs> also, I don't think that like Eric Rosen would be interested. I don't think that that uh, uh wesley i i really doubt would be interested um but coast nuke okay and costa hmm. nuke and tanya such stuff <laughs> <Tanya fight. laughs> i can ask her if she can costa nuke and tanya that that I, actually I that would be an interesting fight. huh maybe can you imagine Tanya fighting? Yes. You can? Yes. yes. 
Wow. Okay. Yes, I think she she has it in her. Yeah, I can definitely sense it. Uh, I think there's some some potential there for sure. So I would say Kostinuk and Tanya in the co-main event. Who would you have in the main event of the night? Uh, you versus Anish. How about that? Well, I know that Anish wouldn't. He's he's actually told me that he he hates contact sports. That okay, okay. Or I don't know if contact sports or like fighting fighting sports. Maybe uh -huh. maybe he's okay with some contact sports, but uh, he doesn't like violent sports where people get beat up. Do you think Dave so likes it? He, he I know he's a basketball player. He enjoys playing basketball. I can't see Ding fighting. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I can't fight myself. I like, I have no fighting experience, but I, I really I can't see Ding even wanting to try that. Okay. Okay. But we could do something like, um, Magnus and Jan, maybe similar weight classes, uh, and similar chess levels close enough. Right. I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, obviously Magnus is better, but, uh, but they're very competitive. They have some history. Uh, yes. We could do. Ali Reza, people would like to see that. And Ali Reza is tall and lanky. Vincent. Um, Vincent. I, I can see him fight. Yes, but Vincent probably has the weight advantage on him, and I think the height oh. advantage also. I think Vincent is is a. Uh, I don't think so. I think they're around the same. Guy. That's pretty pretty tall. Mm. But that's okay. I can see that happening. I'd yes. Say that Ali Reza's uh, around. 192 mm -hmm. centimeters so like six yeah. point something six point uh six six two maybe i mean i'm guessing vincent's probably around that too okay germans are, are pretty tall people I in always, general i always had the impression he's about six three six four something like that. but yeah uh definitely an interesting bout there okay okay i think we've built some okay you versus oh, anish that we're like talking about chess boxing like uh <laughs> or maybe they'll like it but we'll okay see. okay chess boxing done we've built a card 